we're gonna discuss this on a later date, guys. Man, I'm so glad I got the guy in the car. And I can't wait to get cookie. Are you kidding me? Oh, I want to take a screenshot. Hmm. Huh? It's you! Why are you here? I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? Okay, why did the payman sound angry on Sara? Although I think she, he, she was angry on Venti, not on... No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you! Yeah. So, Tone Death Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... Indeed me. As I have told you, you are a suspect. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? We not give a third option. We don't know this guy. Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. And just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the sailing breeze. If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. Oh, Fenty! You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me! We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Similar means? <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not, for the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally, right? But why weren't you on the same ship as the other bards? Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. You drank on board, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuman sake. And when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from atop the grate. <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable, but it still feels a bit... Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the AI Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Hmm? But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh, I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, LB 
Beetle? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. But we can still imprison Venti in a cell, please. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Not so fast. Not so fast. Even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. Sara is quite the meticulous one. So, where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. Are you serious, eh? But I'm kind of surprised Venti has some relevancy. I mean, he has a rerun. I mean, if you kind of know about what happened in CN, Venti may not make uh, too much appearance because of his silhouette to say. But eh, I guess he's kind of in the safe zone for now. Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. If you were holding the invitation in your hand the whole time, then why did you put it down? Well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuma and sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. I couldn't both hold the invitation and a glass at the same time. <laughs> but surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? Huh? You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? They shake his head. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. Hmm. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. There goes Sara. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Hirayama about Albedo's reference materials. Mr. Hirayama, I'm Calx. We had originally arranged to meet today. Ah, yes, so you are, Calx. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. 
These are the materials regarding the five Kassen. All the information that we could find is compiled here. See here. Yes, it's just as I had suspected. Monikers such as Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the five Kasen. Though there were once many stories regarding each of the five Kasen, the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. But at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style, so there is still something we may glean from this. So, is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and, uh, fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. I am sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the Five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart, and create something that you yourself find interesting. That does sound like something Miko would say. Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yai Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. You have my gratitude. I'll be going, then. Nothing more we can do here. Let's go. Huh? Betty? What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday! Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. Interesting, isn't it? Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But... why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. 
Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Uh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off! No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute! What about your portrait? And your money. As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Most humans could have... Wow, you really came through, Albedo. You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. Well, that was fast. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it hearken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Hey, don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the Five Kasen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuronushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt, Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. Why you over? Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days.